All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to Networks 2. Um, as we indicated last time, we'll be going through a tutorial session today on transients. And um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna start with one of, with a question that was um, oops, that was shared with me by one of your colleagues. So I'll just bring that up and we get started. Um, hold on. That's as soon as I can find. <laughs> So I can find the document. Okay, so here we are. So take this question for me, and then we get started. Let's take this down for me, please. All right, do we all have a question? Yes, sir. All right. All right, so I'm gonna take a slightly different approach this afternoon. Um, and it's not based on recent reprimands, but uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try and go at your pace. So I'm going to allow you to be the ones who will do this question, all right? Because I have to be sure that we all um, understand what is happening here. So, and the volunteers? Um, we know that it is in steady state that T zero minus, and we want the voltage across the 24 ohm resistor in 600 microseconds. Okay, any, any any suggestions? Or do I need to be calling on persons? Any volunteers? Um, Go ahead. All right, so the first approach I would take um, to this circuit sir, is to find the, the total resistance and uh -huh. then after which I find um, the total current in the in the circuit. 
Okay. So you want to find RT. You want to find IT. Okay. And fine, we, we will ultimately go there, but tell me, why is it that you would want to find these? So in order to get the current that's flowing through the inductor, so I use current divider after no. you get IT. Sir, so won't you use voltage divider rule up to the um to the eight ohms so you can have the the, the voltage that is in parallel with the six the six ohm and the twelve ohm and then right there you can find the current that's flowing through the six ohm branch that, that is connected to the, the three million anyway. So that I mean what you're presenting is just an, an, another approach. So yes, it, it isn't that you know what was said before is, is incorrect. What I what I'm trying to find out is you know what is the objective. I think it was Adams. Um, you're saying in finding it you wanted the current through the inductor. That's yes, what you said. Okay. Steady state, yes, sir. And what and that current at steady state? What does it really represent? What would it be representing? I zero. I zero, sir. What what I don't know what I zero mean. You were talking to me, you know, I don't know what that means. But it's I zero. The initial current. Oh, oh, the initial current. Okay, okay. So we want the the initial current through the inductor. Yes, sir. So so I want first, you know, the objective. So we, we have cleared what the objective is. The objective is to get what the current, the initial current is through the inductor. Because of course, we know that we are seeking to get an expression I is equal to I zero e to the minus T over top, right? That's what, this is our objective. Everybody agree? Yes, sir. And once we have this, once we have this, where do we go from there? So we now know the current that is um, flowing from our inductor. How does it help us? Because remember what you're interested in is the voltage across this, huh? Eh? The current in the 24 ohm at 600 microseconds. The current before and the current after will be the same after the system. So um, you could use the current divider when the source is moved from the um, circuit to find the current going through the, the, the 24 ohm resistor. Okay, so once I have I, which is the current from the inductor, um, you're saying we find the current. I'm gonna call that IX. And don't, don't be bothered that I'm putting uppercase, but anyway. So which other currents do I want? Ix or Iy? Ix. 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 And Ix will flow through the 24. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes. So once I have Ix, where do I go from there? Oh, yes. OK. So I know, so I, know I have V24, but it, it would, of course, be in this form. Agreed? Over the resistance, over the 24. But I'm saying it would be in this form. Yes, over sir. And then yes, just sir. plug in T. You know, plug in T with them give you. Okay, so I substitute T and 600 microseconds, and that will give me a value in volts. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so we all understand the process. Yes, sir. So let us now go to doing the actual problem. So the first thing I want you all to do, because I'm not doing it for you. I'm not doing it for you. So we want to find the voltage, or sorry, we want to find the current, the initial current I0. So as um, I, as was said earlier, we want to find RT. So find RT for me, please. And that would be RT at steady state. Huh? 15 ohms. All right, so I'm waiting on the other people to, to get it done. I have to slow it down here.
All right, so RT. Fifteen ohms. All right, and of course, at this stage, I'm not going to be, you know, writing in the resistance equation. We should be uh, experts with that by now. And um, because we are at steady state, um, how do we represent the inductor? Short circuit. All right. So, what's the current through the inductor? So, I'm going to call I inductor. So, let me get 1.778 amps. I don't know what the answer is, you know. Um, so that we're, we're, we're going to use majority rule here. So ready? Did you get that for the current through the inductor? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anyone who is unable to find the current through the inductor? All right. So, I inductor is say 16 over 9 amperes. Okay, fine. Um, no, when I open the switch, so I now open the switch. What is the resistance seen by the inductor? Well, opening the switch, what happens? I got a source. Okay. And Good. it's telling ohm resistor go remove from the circuit. So now that the inductor gives like a source, what's the resistance? Seen by the inductor. Give me the equation. Four. What's the equation? Six in series with 12 in parallel with eight in series with 24. Okay. And that works out too? 162 by 11. Hmm? 162 by 11. 162 by 11? Okay. Fourteen point seven two seven. Fourteen point seven two yes. All right. So I'm gonna keep it as one sixty two by eleven. Again, I I I have not worked it, so I don't know the, the answers. Now L is three. All right. So if that is uh, our EQ, so tau, you know, is L over R. It's uh, L over R EQ. All right. So that would be three divided by one sixty two over 11, so that is 3 times 11, over 162. All right. So times 33, 162. Really? Um, I'm saying the negative 3, sir. Oh, yeah, really. Um, Thirty three times ten to be mm, yeah. 
milliseconds. All right. So what's the expression for the inductor current? Um, Mr. Thomas, are you with us? Following us? Yes, sir. The, my internet giving a little trouble, but I'm here, sir. Okay. So, Boso, you following? Taran? So, Boso, you're with us? Okay, then. How about you, Ms. Barrett? You with us? You following what we're doing here? Yes, sir. Yes, Ms. Lynch, I'm going to ask you too. Ms. Lynch, are you with us? Yes, sir. Um, I reached in it. Hmm? So I'm here, but um, I was here at the beginning. Oh, so you didn't get the question? No, sir. Okay. All right. Okay, so. Yes, sir. The initial, the, current, the initial current was 16 over 9, is that? We have 16 over 9. And this is E to the minus T over tau. Yes, so it, it would be the inverse of this, eh? So we have 162 over 33 T. And of course, this would be obvious. What do you agree with that? Ms. Phillips, do you agree with that? Yes, sir, to the best of my knowledge. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Either. Did you work out, did you work out, um, like, do you agree that this is the initial current? I zero? Yes, sir. All right. And then we have T divided by tau. All right, so Ms. Chen. Yes, sir. All right, um, so where do we go from here? What's the current through the 24 volt resistance? Hmm? Sir, would you use current divider? Yeah, man, so I want the expression. A moment. Hmm? Sir, um, 33 over. No, man. Give me the give me the expression. Just give me the expression. No, no, not just the final value. I think it was twelve. No. Was this a circuit? So the current is coming here, eh? We want the current going this direction, eh? Yes, sir. So it's 12 times up. Sir, isn't it supposed to be a fraction for current divider? 
Yeah, man. So I'm just writing the numerator. Uh, it was 12144. So it's 12 times 16 over 9. E to the minus 162. T over 33 divided by 12 plus, how was it? 8 and 24? 32. 32. All right. That's how I was saying. I wanted the expression so everybody could see what we are um, multiplying and or dividing. All right, so what's the final expression? What's the final expression here? Sixteen on thirty-three e to the minus sixteen over thirty-three. Okay. All right, and then we have e to the minus one six two zero zero t or thirty three. I'm just taking your your word for this, and I I have no idea what is what. Good. Can anyone confirm this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right. So now that we have I I twenty four, we can find V twenty four. Yes. So V twenty four, we are multiplying this by twenty four. Right. So we have twenty four. Times 16 over 33. E to the minus 162000 zero, 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 T over 33. Okay. And at 600 microseconds. Yes. Tell me what D24 is equal to. Minus eleven point six three six. How's that? Eleven point six three six. Eleven point six three one. Six. Eleven point six three six. Yes, sir. E. All right. There, I think that's going to be minus two. Why? Huh? Maybe. Sir, could you go back to the turkey, please, sir? Pardon? Could you go back to the turkey, please, sir? Well, I didn't give you any polarity, sir. Oh, okay. I thought it was polarity, yeah. I just asked you, I didn't even put in the V. Okay. All right, good. But of course, you're, you're, you're onto something because had I put in the polarities on this, then you would have to take note because the current will be going in that direction, eh? Yes, sir. So it will be plus, minus. But, so that's a, that's a very good observation. Sir, sir, one question, sir. Uh -huh. um, but uh, you had 33 over 162 microseconds. Milli. Uh, it was milli. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Because I was wondering, I got it. I thought it was micro. All right. All right. Any other, any other question? Is everybody? Yes, hmm? 
Yes, sir, for the current divider for I at 24 ohm resistor. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, I don't know. I don't see why he use a 12 plus 32. Because we're dividing between 12 and 32. We're dividing between this and this. Okay, sir. Just seeing it now. Any other question? Good, I like that. So, this one is yours. Could you go back to the working on for the previous question just for a second? All that pause. Literally just one second, sir. But you know I'm going to measure the time, right? All right, sir. Yes. Yeah, that was three seconds. Yeah, I'm joking. Anyway, there it is. Are you good? Yes, sir. Thanks. All right. All right, so um, I want everyone now to work this. Uh, yeah. So I will go at this, please.
Okay, so back with you now. So I suppose um, anybody I call upon should be able to just give me some good answers. Mm. All right, you will agree that it, this um, example is quite similar to the one we just did. So let's start. Um, so across there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. So the first thing I noted was due to the presence of a capacitor there, V0 or VO would be equal to V0 minus equal V0 plus. Okay. And it said that steady state, so therefore the capacitor is fully charged and acts as an open circuit. Mm -hmm. So find R equivalent when the switch is open would be 18 plus 18 parallel to 12. Oh, you're saying these are in, um, sorry, these are in series? Yes, sir. Okay. And in parallel with 12 ohm resistor. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's, what was that equal to? 22.8, sir. 22.8? Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got a little distracted. Um, let's, let's go again. You're saying that, what are you trying to find? You're trying to find the vote, the voltage at this ohm circuit, yes? Yes, sir. So you have put these. You're saying these two are in series in parallel with this. And what are you finding again? You're looking R for V0. Yes, sir. But, but this is what are equivalent. But when this is open, that's when the circuit is at steady state, right? That's T0 minus. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, um, on a T0 minus, the switch is closed, isn't it? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Huh? Yes, sir. All right. So give me the equation for RT when that switch is closed. And this is RT from, from where? With respect to what? The six ohm, the branch with the capacitor. Oh man, remember I know. This is open, this is open. And, and because it's open, what we're saying, when it reaches steady state, this represents an open circuit. And that is how we're finding V0. Yes, sir. Agreed? All right, so this is closed. So if that is closed, we are looking at RT with respect to the, to the source. Yes. Because we want to know what voltage is across this. And the voltage across this would be the voltage across the 12 ohm resistor. You disagree or you agree? Talk to me, man. I agree, sir. I agree. Mr. Hey. mistake on my part. So right, it's so. 10 in series with eight parallel 18 in series. 10 in series with that? Hold on. In series with the 12, sir. What? We are looking at the 80 volt source, huh? Oh, yes, sir. We're the 18 the parallel eight. 20, sir. Huh? The 18 parallel 20. Oh, so it's 10 in series of the 18 parallel 20? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Uh -huh. We haven't worked that out because you're just figuring it out now, right? Yes, sir. All right. So I had pause because I wanted persons to have answers. So let me um let me um let me Let me go to someone, someone who have, who have worked with us. So, Brown, Barris, Barrisford? Yes, sir. All right. So, just give me the values. You want to see if we can work them? Yes, sir. I tried something. <laughs> um, For the RT idea, I got 19.471. Nineteen. Okay. Three seventy mm -hmm. over nineteen. Huh? Three seventy over nineteen. No, you like your fractions. <laughs> it's all right, man. Since you're doing it, give me a lesson, man. Right? Yep, that's all right. All right. So from Can I give you a current off. What did what approach did you take? Um, first I found that RT, then I found that found the voltage across the 12 using the voltage divider. Okay. So which would, all right, tell you what, let me not ask, you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> so you found said, RT to be equal to 19.47, yes? Yes, sir. All right, next. Then I said um, the voltage across the. You're breaking up. Mm -hmm. I think I, 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 I did something wrong. I just I just did something wrong. I didn't find the voltage across right. the ten and then. Well, lie, 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 lie. Sorry. Yeah. So the voltage across the. Eight ohm, the eighteen ohm, sorry, would be equal to nine point four seven. All right, so give, tell us what you did to get there. Oh, I said. So you um, wanted to find V eighteen, uh huh? Yes, sir. So I said um, eighty using the voltage divider, multiplied by. 9.47 uh -huh. over the 19.47. Okay. And I got 38.91 volt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then I found the voltage across the 12 ohms, which would be V naught. And I did that by using voltage divider again. So I said 38.91 um, multiplied by um, 12 over 20. All right, I'm, I'm going to put 8 plus 12. Right. Just so persons know what we're dividing. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you get? Uh, 23.35 volts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Yeah. Um, so we don't know. And what does this represent? V naught, which is a voltage across the copper stuff. Uh, excellent. Next. Um, then now after the switch was flipped, you know, find upon the RT um, when the capacitor is seen as a source. So at T equals zero plus, you found REQ, which was um, six plus open bracket 12 in parallel with open bracket 
8 plus 18. Then close out the bracket. Okay. Just get a total. Yeah, man. Um, 14.21 ohm. Okay. Yeah. Then I just I found the RC just to make it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Um that was equal to 0 0.23 microsecond. Sorry, 0 0.213. Sorry about that. Microsecond. And mm -hmm. then, um, so I got VC was equal to 23.35. E minus T over the RC, which is a zero point. Is there anybody who has an issue with this? Or yes. Yes. The black coat. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The black coat. Yes, sir. Mm. You got this so far? Um I had one issue, the voltage across the capacitor, I got something different from him. So everything else would have been different in a sense. I got 33.773 instead of the instead of the 23. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh. It was in the current divider rule, so it's the current divider to find what? Um I tried to find the current through the 12 and then use the 12 times that current to get the voltage of the capacitor. So Okay, so if you did that, what was IT? IT was 4.108. 4.108. Okay. And it would have been divided between 18. And 20. No? Ah, uh, with 26. Eight, eight and 12. Yes, sir. Is that the circuit? Yes, sir. Uh, so the current is divided between 18 and 20. Well, yes. I, I actually combined the 8 with the 18, so that was the error. Okay. Nice. Um, um, sir, mm -hmm. um, I got a different value. Um, you can go show me where I would have went wrong. Um, and phone the voted across the the 18 and then said that it would have been the same across the 8 and the 12 and did and then found v12 and use that as v all right so quickly um how did you find the voltage across the 18 just tell me the, the expression you have there uh, v1 plus 80 over 10 plus v1 over 18 plus v1 over 8 plus 12 v plus 0 Huh? I'm not sure I understand what, what, what we're working. Are you using Noda? You, yeah, I use a node. I use a node with, with one um with one node. Um so if you're using one node. Well you did it from the top come down from the yeah, what are, what are, if you're using one node. Give me the equation again. 
V1 plus 80 over 10 plus V1 over 18 plus V1 over 8 plus 12. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, just 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 for the record, just for the record, the the, the voltage is actually negative. Um, oh. Eh? Oh, okay. Just just for the record. Um. So the values that that um Mr. Brown gave me, these would have all been minus, but it, it, there's no real harm done. Everybody with me? Sir. Yes. Yeah. I did a slightly different approach. I um, I didn't get the correct answer, so I know I did something wrong. But I just wanted to see how it would actually work out. Um, seeing that the supply is, is positive at the lower end, I decided to just flip the circuit vertically and try to work it that way. So we would have positive 18, sorry, positive 80, and it will be distributed across the 18 ohm resistor, and then the other branch would be the capacitor and the resistor, but the capacitor would be in reverse polarity. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter because the capacitor would still be open circuited. Yes, sir. So, so that 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 approach would be correct, sir. But well, I'm saying, what what are you flipping? Why are you flipping the circuit? It it doesn't really matter. I'm saying it's an open circuit. So it's not an approach. You haven't done anything um, in terms of the, the the operation of the circuit. Well, yes, sir. Um, no, maybe I'm not I'm telling you. No, no, no. I'm saying to you, what Mr. Brown outlined to me. Right, that it's just that we used or he used the return path of the current, but the current would flow through the same elements in the same order. Yes, but I am just making sure that we understand just for um, you know correctness, so to speak, that because the polarity of the source at the top is negative. And the capacitor, if you look at the top of the capacitor, it's positive. So the voltage on that would, would have been negative. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not talking about that, sir. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm saying, saying the flipping of the circuit does not matter. It, it's, not a, it's not an approach. That's what I'm saying. In other words, in other words, if, if you went this way with, with, the, with the currents. Yes, sir. Yes. It's the same thing as going this way. Okay. Right? It's just that one is looking at the return path and one is looking at the actual um, current path. Nothing will change. Okay, sir. All right. Uh, yes, sir. But I, I, I do accept and understand what Mr. Brown did. But just to be, um, you know, Precise or accurate, rather, not precise, but accurate. I'm just highlighting that it ought to be negative. So everything that he did was perfectly correct, apart from just putting in the negative. All right. Um, similarly, sir, if, sir, the RC is wrong, sir. Eh? The RC, ta is wrong. All right. Um, if we went to using the four, Yes, this 4.8 is just that the current would not be going in that direction. Right? That's all. The actual current will be going up. It changes nothing. So if the person who was it, Blackwood, your 4.108, um, when you divide it, well, you made the error in terms of your division, but if you divide it between the 18 and the 20, you would still get the 23. Um, you still get the 23 volts. If you note four, 
you have your 18 and 20. So more or less, let's call it half and half. Agreed? So you'd have about two amperes, just under two, just under two amperes coming through the 12. And two times 12 gives us 24, right? So it'll be just less than 24. So we know that, um, that the approach is, is correct. Um, Mr. Adams, you were saying that his RC is incorrect? Yes, sir. All right. What was, what was C? 15. And um, R was 14. 15 times 14, that's approximately 225. So 200 and odd. All right. So what's the, what's the, what's incorrect? What's the value? So, Adam, you said it was incorrect. What's the correct thing? Sir, um, I got the same, the, the, the two, one, three, sir, but the micro, sir. If you have, if you represent it in microsecond, you should actually get 213 microseconds. Okay. All right. So, yeah. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I can agree with that. So, two, one, three microsecond all right so this should be um so this will be two and three right so yes, two, one, two and three times ten to the six okay um the question that asks us for determine the voltage v so we want the voltage now across the 18. so this is my vc all right. So what is V? What is V18? Mr. Sure. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I, I took the, the current divider method, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, current divider or voltage divider? So after I have VC, so I just find IC and then... Oh, that's a waste of time. That's a total waste of time. Even though it may, it may be correct, it's a waste of precious time. That's why you all cost me that may exam too long. All right? Okay, that's sir. Let me see your way, sir. Huh? I said, okay, sir. Let me see your way. So, Mr. Adams, you, you don't need to even query that, man. Isn't the 18 and 18 series? Aren't the 18 and the 18 series seat up here? So in the equation, you know. Here it is in the resistance equation. They are in series. Yes, sir. Well, on. Let me look back at the circuit before me, before me put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> you know you're perfectly right, Mr. Adams. <laughs> I, I, I totally didn't remember the six ohm resistor. So yes, go ahead. So you found the current, so that's a 23 divided by 14, yes? Yes, sir. So what's that? 1.5 something? 1. Can we just represent it in fractions same you know, sir, and then when we use the current divider, then we give it in decimal. Okay, so you have one point, that looks like about 1.5. 1.64, 1.64. Okay, that's the coefficient, right? I'm just writing the coefficient. Yes, sir. All right, are you dividing that between 26 and, 20 and 12? Yes, sir. Excellent. So therefore, I18, What's that equal to? So I got 0 0.5189. 0 0.5189. All right. E to the T then, over. And then you multiply. No, I'm just looking at the coefficient. You multiply that by 18 to get the V18, the coefficient. Yes, sir. All right. So you'll get 9 point something. Or 10 point. What's that? 9.34. 9 point. 3, 4. 9 point Three, four. Oh, come on. 
negative here. E to the minus t over two and three times 10 to the six. All right, good. Sir. Sir. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, I'm a little lost as to why we didn't go to use a voltage divider out. Because that's what I Oh, is your, oh, you're making the same. Whoops, you're making the same error I, I was making. Um, if we use voltage divider, uh, Ms. Donna, the, the thing is, what you have is the voltage for the capacitor. Agreed? Agreed. So if it's behaving like a source, then um, it would be in series with this. So this is in series with the rest of the circuit. Right. So you would have had to find six. You'd have to divide between six and the combination of these two. Right? So if you go back to the circuit, to the equation, six is in series with everything that's back here. Oh, okay, okay. Really? I okay. mean, in fairness, you could have done the voltage divider twice, you know, because since you have this, um, 14, then you know that you're dividing it between 6 and um, and 8.1. See what Okay. And then whatever you get for the 8.21, you divide that again between, between 8 and 18. Okay. All right, so you could have done that. Could have okay. Done. Could I... I understand what, um, what Mr. Adams did, but whichever method you're more comfortable with, I'm fine with that. Okay, then, Jack. Cool. Um, where are we? Okay. Is everybody comfortable with this? Any other questions? No, sir, that's good. Ms. Phillips? No question, sir. To the best of your ability, is this okay? Aye. All right, so let me get back my, all right. So, um, I wanted to, have a look at the next question. All right. Now these are these are this represented the first part of the, um, the transients, right? So we're going to step it up now. Look at um, forced response. So take this one. Let's let's talk it through, and then you have a go at it. Can I say the question for me, please.
All right, so let's start through the through this question. Um, any any suggestions? So Jeffrey. Yes, sir. Any suggestions? Um, right, sir. So in the in the analysis, when the switch is closed, mm -hmm. the inductor would act as a closed as a closed circuit. All right, thank you. Repeat. Short circuit, not closer yeah yeah, sure, sir. yeah so when that up no sir um you're going to have two so you're going to have two sources acting in the circuit so you can use maybe like um an not an or anything like that to analyze it to get the vote the i'm listening So when the switch is closed, you will it, the, the inductor is like a short circuit uh, at steady state. Mm-hmm. repeat it because I just last connection a while ago. No man, I'm listening to you. Tell me what, 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 what how we approach this. So after to find to find the initial current no, sir, we'd have to go find R Tevening. Not not activity. Okay, like that. It could act, it could create a tevening circuit so when you use Why? The, that's what it power man. The analysis. So you just use okay. what? Sir. Nodal? Yes, sir. So I find I find nodal, then you get the the tevening voltage and then you know, it creates a tevening circuit. Why would you want to so, do all of that? And then you use R2 as the load. Tell me why you would want to go there. Well, yeah. So I tried two source. Yeah, same way I have to do something like that. So because I mean, you do something like that, you have a question. You a question like this, sir, for practice, sir, and that approach when you take. All right. OK. So it's based on, based on um, experience you're, you're thinking of that. All right. OK. Yeah. Um, anybody else want to have a start at it? This one thank you. Where is it? Um, sir, I really don't know what you were about. Bye. All right. But 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 I'm not accepting you really don't know, and that's it. Um what ought to be our objective? What what's the objective? Uh, to find the current, current to the inductor. The current, so we want the, in, the, the initial current through the inductor, yes? yes. Or sir. the current from through the, the inductor at steady state? From the 15 volts. 15 you volts. Use volts. Why do we need that initial current? Sir, because we know that. After. We know that I0 minus is equal to I0 plus, which is equal to I0. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do with that initial current? So we will use it to find the A and B. No, A. We need to find A. Good, good. Because this circuit represents what kind of response? Forced, forced response. Forced response. Thank you. So we need to go back to the theory. Yes. So as yes, Mr. Okay. Henry said, we want to find A. And how do we find A, Mr. Henry? Don't worry about this circuit, but generally speaking, how do we calculate A? You will have to find B by finding the um the steady state with the the second voltage source, which is the five volts. Okay, good. Well, it will be the 15, but... Mm -hmm. So, yes, and then after you find that, it will be I infinity, which is the steady state. Mm -hmm. Then when you find A now, you said A naught minus B, will, which will result in A. 
Okay, so I know minus B is equal to A. Yes, sir. Good. And then the final expression would be in what form? I. I equal. I equal. Um, A e to the. Whatever. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Plus. Plus B. Yeah, plus B. All right, good, good. Thank you. Um, so we first need to determine the initial current. So calculate the initial current from it, please. Sir, 15 over 8. What's that? 15 over 8? That's the initial current? That's I O to minus. All right. Let, let, let's, let's, because I, I, I particularly didn't like the reasons or the reason put forward by Mr. Jeffrey as to why he wanted to use nodal analysis. I didn't like the reasoning, eh? So look at the circuit and tell me, in your opinion, what which would be the easiest method or the most appropriate method for you in finding the current through the inductor um, at steady state? Mesh analysis, sir. And this is one time I go agree with you. Huh? So much analysis. You have I1, you have I2. Right? And at this stage, I mean, you know, mesh analysis is supposed to be something, you know, like the back of your hand, right? So we have nine, five. All right, that's your matrix. We have I one, I two. Yes. We have fifteen and minus five. All right. Um, sir, question, sir. Mm. Um, for the for the loop one, sir. Um, the wouldn't the five be inside um the inside loop one as well, sir? Hmm. Okay. Wouldn't the five be in um? In, 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 in the... I mean for the voltage? Yes, sir. Oh, so that's 15 plus 5, so that's 20. With 20, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yeah, man. Thanks. You see, you know it like the back of your hand. I obviously don't. Sir, that not look good, no, sir. I teach, you No, nah, man. You know, the, 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 the greatest flattery is when your students can correct you, you know. Sir, I made that error in the test other day, sir. So that's what I remember, sir. You you can't get it wrong, you know, I can. The fact that you're you're correcting me means that you're following. I have no problem with that one. All right. Um so what's I two? Zero point four. Four hundred and sixteen milliamps. Four sixteen? Milliamps, yes, sir. 
Okay. 16.67. Or 16.67 million. Um, now, I'm just at taking that as, as, as the correct response, but I am using the opportunity, um, students, to, to warn you that when you're doing, especially uh, a topic like transients, you cannot afford to just eat 6.67 Millions. You cannot do that. A word to the wise is sufficient. So now that you have um, your I zero, which is I two, okay. And since it is it is positive, we know that the current is going in that direction, right? Okay, now that when I open the switch, when I open the switch, what would be the new steady state? New steady state current. Fifteen over eight. Fifteen volts over eight ohms. Okay. That's how I'm finished, yes? So what is A equal to? So you know, I'm mean, gonna understand the whole A and B thing with um, minus um, 1.458. Minus 1.458. 1. 4, 5. Eight. Okay. And what is the um what's the resist what's the equivalent resistance through which um this is happening? Eight ohms, sir. Eight ohms. So, so, well, I don't know why I'm doing all of this. 1.45A. So, A minus 1.458 amperes. And um, REQ is eight ohms. So, tau. Was L two was it? Uh, it is okay. That's seconds. So what's the expression for I? So it is minus 1.458.
Eight, huh? eight to the minus 40. Plus fifteen over eight. All right. So that's your complete expression. All right. Yeah. No, no um, students. Sir. Yes. Big question, sir. Um, uh -huh. how do you find A again, sir? Yeah, that's that's. Let me just treat it something else. Um, a quick, a quick check on, on uh, as to whether or not what you have presented is correct. A quick check is just to make t equal zero. All right? If t is equal to zero, then what's the current in the circuit? What's the current through the inductor? Fifteen over eight. Minus 1.458, agree? Which yeah. would work out to what we had gotten before, which was, what was it? Um, yeah. 416, 416, 0.67 milliampere. Milli All right, so it's saying to us that just before you close the switch, that's where you're going in. Agreed? Now, if T is infinity, what is I? At infinity, what is 15 I? Over 15, 8. Over 8. 15, 15 over 8. 15 over 8, which is what you would have gotten yes, after you move it to the next source. Fair enough? Yes. So it, the answer has to make sense. And, and that's just a quick check um, to make sure that what you have done is correct. Body comfortable with that? Sir, I'm, not, I'm not sure Sir. what you did up a while ago. Sir, yes. I have a question. They use um, mesh analysis because the circuit started off closed, right, sir? No, I use mesh analysis because it was an easy, easy method. It is closed, yes, prior, so that I would know what the initial conditions were. Okay. All right, so I, it's not that... It is closed, therefore I use mesh analysis. I use mesh analysis because the circuit lent itself or lent itself to that. So I don't want to uh, link the two because as um, I think it was, was Mr. Jeffrey, um, he had indicated that he would have used nodal analysis, which, was, which would have been quite fine. All right. Um, so that gives us the current. But well, what we were interested in was the voltage, right? So you have the current, so you just multiply it by two, and you have the voltage. Because the current through this inductor would have been the same current through the, the, the two ohm resistor. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. The inductor and the current and the and the resistor are in are in series. So whatever current passes through that inductor. Right? So the current through this, through the inductor, would also pass through the resistor. Now um, just going back to what Mr. Jeffrey had said, I'm assuming, Mr. Jeffrey, correct me if I'm wrong. 
I am assuming that one of the reasons he was talking about the thevening and all of that stuff is because of this. If I'm wrong, Mr. Jeffrey, now is the time. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, if I'm wrong, you know, I, I'm... Where are you, sir? But, uh, yeah, but why were you going to the thevening? Hey, sir, show me do it a comfortable for me, sir. To understand it like that. Because the A something the A something may never really catch it so good. I'm gonna do it using a table name so I'm gonna get back the same answer. I'm gonna just do it a while ago. For the aid not part. Not eight or not. The, the initial current. Oh the initial current. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna all finish right, sharing right, I mean, the circuit. I, I'm being very honest. I'm really, I, I, I think that would just be taking up time in an exam setting, but I am not here to dictate what method you use. Um, suffice it to say, I have placed a, a number of methods on the table, and it is for you to use um, whichever um, you find most beneficial. Fair enough? So I'm not going to dictate. Whichever one you find uh, easier, easiest you use it. All right. If there are no other questions on this, let us. I think th this one you guys are. Yeah, not sure, but did I ask so you find a long time in a chair? That's in the notes, man. Initial minus that's... B. The initial condition minus B. That's in your notes. And Mr. Henry had, had said it. So we found the initial, which was the 416. And we minus it from B, which was the new steady state. Okay, okay. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right. So let's take this and we wrap up this evening. Um, All right, so let's take a couple of minutes and, and, and go through this one, please. While I do the register.
All right. Now, while, while you're doing this, um, just reminding you, I, I hope you guys remember that this Friday is your mid-session now, and it will cover everything up to this, this evening's class. All right. Um, so everything that you have done since the start of June. All right. It will be the same format as your test number one. And it will be two hours and you will have four questions to answer in the two hours. Sir, so everything as in even questions within in test one as well? Everything since we started the module up to today. Okay, sir. Okay. So let's let's quickly run through this one. First step. Let me let me call on some people that I haven't spoken. Um, step number one. So, Boss, are you back with us? Okay. So, Boss, pulling up as one of us. Very near one. Okay. Um, so, Grant? Yes, sir. Mm, let's get started with this one. First step. Everything you draw a circuit, sir. Go ahead, man. Excellent. Go ahead. All right. Given that the initial charge of the capacitor is 400, write the expression. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So that's the first thing we need to do. What do I put me second? So you find alpha first? Alpha, Omega. Okay, so alpha, and what's alpha? Alpha is 2L. Over 2L. Over 2L. Mm. So, Mr. Ellis was answering, so I'll just stick with that for the time. Yes, Mr. Ellis. Okay. okay. Um, 5K over 2 times, over 2 times 5, and that gives 500. Mm -hmm. Then you find omega, which is one over root LC. Mm -hmm. One over? Ro root LC. Okay. Oh, and that is 44.72. 44.72? Yes, sir. And therefore, alpha is greater than omega. Mm -hmm. So it is over damped. Mm -hmm. So I is in the form? Going... So I is in what form? 
So we're going to i is in a e to the minus alpha plus beta t. A e to the plus to the minus alpha plus beta t. And um plus beta e. Uh-huh. Plus? Uh, and um, plus beta e to the, yeah, to the um, minus alpha beta t. Uh, okay. And beta, beta, is equal to root alpha square minus omega square. Which is equal to? Um, 497.996. Um, 497.996. Um, Yes, All right, that's 498. Yeah. Yes, um, I is equal to, I know is equal to alpha So you're rewriting it. Uh, you're rewriting. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. So I. I equals alpha. Where are going alpha again? I mean a e. I minus five hundred plus four ninety eight. So this is minus two T. And then um then to have minus nine nine eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, then T equals zero. So I'm gonna write there C it. Write it here. Hold on. Then I have T equals zero. And for, uh, we're going to have I equals zero because of the inductor. Okay, at t equals zero. It is reflecting. So at t equals zero, you're saying i equals I, zero. i equals zero because of the inductor. Okay. So zero is equal to? a plus b or a equal minus b. Okay, good. Next. So we're going to use the L di over dt. Right, so we're now going to look at the voltages. Yes. All right. So we're now going to look at the voltages. So what do we know about the voltages? So let's give me the voltage expression. Let's give it the loop voltage. Mm -hmm. Um, now, on, All right, this is what I'm asking. VR plus VL plus VC is equal to what? The total voltage. Which is? 20. 
Okay. So at t equals zero, what is vr equal to? What was I equal to at t equals zero? At equals zero, I was equal to zero. Mm -hmm. So what is VR? Zero. Zero. Who that whispering to you? But anyway, come. <laughs> um, next one. So now we are we're left with VL and VC, yeah? VC. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, so what's the expression for VL, the voltage? Is, is that the LDI over DT? Right, so LDI DT. And what is VC? Is What other information are you giving in the question? The, we're given the capacitor. Mm -hmm. We're given the capacitor of the capacitor, the capacitor of one hundred microfarad. Mm -hmm. What else? the supply voltage and the charge. Charge. So it tells you that, given that the initial charge on the capacitor is that 450 microcoulombs. Mm -hmm. So we know Q, which is the charge equal to? VC. Right, so it means that V is equal to Q over C, oh, which is 450 cool. over 100. Okay. Around 4.5. Agreed? Yes, sir. So LDIDT plus 4.5 is equal to 20. LDIDT plus 4.5 plus LDIDT so divided by 5.5 or DIDT is equal to uh, what was that? It was 5? Yes, sir. All right. So we get three point one. All right, thank you, Mr. Ellis. So far, Esther? Yes. So far, Esther? I'm still driving. So far, Sir, first, first there, sir, but my internet very, very iffy. Oh, okay. Ms. Barrett, where we go from here? Sir? Where we go from here? Know that I have DIDT. So we're going to different, are we going to D by DT? Mm -hmm. What are we going to differentiate? So the current equation that we had, sir. All right. Which will be this one, all right? 
So differentiate from it. I'm not hearing you clearly clear. I'm saying go ahead with the differential. Sorry, right. that would give us mm -hmm. go ahead. minus two a minus nine nineteen eight b. Alright, and we know that a was equal to minus b, right? Alright, let me let me yes, let me Nine nine eight B and that's equal to the three point one. Yes, sir. Okay. So you wanna keep the A or the B. The B is <laughs> Um, so we have here A to be equal to 3.1 over 9.96. Okay, and from that we find A and we find O find an expression. All right. Um, I'm going to pull stumps at this point. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Byrne. Okay, sir. All right, any, any, any questions with what was done here? So we found Alpha, found Omega. We did the comparison to make sure to see, um, oops. To, to determine um, which expression for the equation we're gonna use. Once we have done that, we know the type of damping, so we know the type of equation. So we go ahead, we find beta, having found beta, we substitute, we then have our current expression. We look at the boundary conditions, yes? And uh, so we look at the boundary conditions in terms of current. Yep. And then we look at the boundary conditions in terms of voltage. And from that, we have, that's supposed to be 3.1. Um, and then finally, we find A, and we know that A is equal to minus B. So of course we make our substitution and we get our final um, answer, which whatever this works out to, um, let's say that is X, we know that is X into E to the minus two T um, minus E to the minus nine, nine, eight T. And that's our current expression, all right? So on, on Wednesday, um, all things being equal, we will get started with the next topic. Um, that topic is very short, so we will start and finish the topic on Wednesday. And um, that will lead into our um, mid-session and exam. Remember that the mid-session and exam is for 25 points. And whilst I made some provisions for some persons, if you are unsure how to upload documents, please, um, let's make sure we sort that out before Friday, okay? Um, I'm just going to, I'm gonna be very 
puff regarding um, the requirements. So you know you upload to the link, the link will be there. Yes. So do not email anything to me after the exam. Do not send me anything in any messages as attachments. I will not even look at them. All right. So you upload the, the document um, and you complete the answers um, in Schoology. So I think we have gone through enough. Um, there are examples still online. Um, go through them at your leisure. All right. If you have no questions, then I will Sir? call it a day. Yes? Sir? Um, in, in Schoology on this schedule, it said that in the week of the 13th, well, in the 13th, as in, on the, in this week, sir, we'll be getting, um, we'll be getting the, the project. Mm -hmm. Um. Just want to check up on that, sir. And and well, you haven't even yeah yes yeah, fine you'll get that but you haven't started the topic as yet so you're 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 you're, you're good just focus now on the um on the exam eh? okay sir that's your main focus right now should okay. be your main focus but you'll get it for this week all right yes sir all right cool all right. Have a good evening, everybody.